You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another DVD collection update. Now, I've had this Scarface 1930s version for a long, long time, and I'm surprised I haven't showed it yet. I got it back in May. Uh, obviously, with the moving and everything, there's still a few things I may still have misplaced. Uh, so this is one of those. This is the 1930s original version of Scarface, produced by Howard Hughes and directed by Howard Hughes. And it's still sealed. I haven't even opened it yet, so we're going to do that now. But yeah, there's the disc itself. Fairly plain, just plain text on a black background, but that's fine. There it is. Now, next up is something I have shown on the channel before in its own video, but not in a collection update, technically, and that's Peter Pan. I didn't buy this. I didn't want this. I like the movie. I just had no interest in buying it at the time. I was actually buying a Clark Gable set, which I showed in the previous collection update. And they sent me this by mistake, and I was too lazy to do anything about it, and it's been months, so it's kind of my fault at this point for not, you know, contacting the seller. Which, hey, maybe that's what they were banking on, but there it is, P Peter Pan. A movie that I haven't watched in years, but I did like a lot as a kid, so maybe I'll watch it again. Alright, next up we have The One, starring Jet Li. My friend showed me this a few months back, and I quite enjoyed it. It's a very fun 2000s action movie. It definitely takes a lot of inspiration from The Matrix, and it actually non-ironically uses the song's bodies, um, Last Resort, and, uh... The fuck is it? Hold on, there's that Disturb song, you know, Down With The Sickness. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I don't know why I can remember that. I, I make references to it all the time. But yeah, it's a pretty fun movie. I talked about it in one of my monthly movie recaps. I know I need to do another one of those. It's been a few months since I've done one. And actually, turns out I missed a few movies in that 20-pack I had. So we have Hood Rat. Again, these are from the bargain bin in Colorado in the mystery box I bought. I've never seen this movie, but I'm pretty sure I've seen the credits of it when we used to get Cinemax for free. I think they ran it on either Cinemax or HBO or something a couple of times. And I caught the end credits to it while I was waiting for the movie I was looking forward to seeing coming on. Can't remember what it was at the time, but there you go. And I knew I recognized him. It has iced tea in it, so there you go. All right, yet another thing was in that bargain bin thing. I have one more after this one as well, but we got starved based on a true story. I don't know very much about this movie. Again, it was just in the bargain bin mystery box. But there's the disc itself. All right, here's the last one from the mystery box. It's, uh, I knew there was an ec another exercise in one in there. Uh, it's the Biggest Loser Workout. Uh, and we actually have a special guest today, Mr. Big Hammer. Uh, his younger brother was in the, the last one, Mr. Hammer. But this is his, uh, his older and much bigger brother. So let's see what it does. to this disc, and we shall have a look at it in just a moment. All right, let's take a look. Look at that. It fucking obliterated it. Jesus Christ. That worked way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Next up, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles original 1987 series. It's the complete classic series collection. Now, I did briefly show this on my review of Season 1, and don't worry, the review of Season 2 is coming. I just haven't finished Season 2 yet. But it's a pretty big set, has quite a few discs. All right, now, rapid fire, there's Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, Disc 4. Maybe not quite in that order. Some of them are stacked, so that's actually Disc 5. Again, they're stacked, whatever. We're ripping through it. There's a lot in here. I don't want to have to go through them all. These discs like to fall out of these cases. That's not good. Uh, but there's that. Then there's some more discs there. And disc 21, I don't know if that's the final disc or if there's more than that. I haven't actually counted. And I didn't see on the case if it said how many there were. It did, in fact, say it's a 23-disc set, so there you go. Next up, we have Rugrats, the complete series. I bought this at the same time as I bought the TMNT set. I don't think I've actually shown this one on the channel, though, so here you go. There's the back of the case. As you can see, Rugrats had a slip case, whereas TMNT did not. There's the back of the case. As you can see, all these discs look kind of plain, so I'm not going to bother going through all of them. They all have the same kind of design. All right, next up we have Boogie. This is a movie that I did a Red Eye Theater of on the channel, and I might do a review of as well. I also did a music video with it, using Rob Zombie's uh, I'm Your Boogeyman, or White Zombies, whatever. It has Rob Zombie in it. You know what I'm talking about. The movie doesn't have Rob Zombie in it. The mu movie doesn't have any copyrighted music, as far as I know. It probably is all original score. But there's the disc itself. I did actually order one of the Boogie comics as well. It's in Spanish, because that's all it's been released in. But it's not here yet, so maybe next collection update. All right, next up, some Watchmen stuff. We got the complete motion comic on DVD. It's 12 episodes long. As you know, I quite like Watchmen, so I wanted to get yet another iteration of it. I've read the comic. I've watched the movie. I have not watched the motion comic, however. This city is afraid of me. I've seen its true face. 
This is some sort of movie ticket rebate that lets you get uh, seven fifty off the movie ticket, which obviously, since they don't show it in theaters anymore, that's not going to do much. Uh, but there's the insert and disc one. So disc one, we got Night Owl, the comedian, and looks like that's it on it, is Night Owl and the comedian on the cover of the disc. And then disc two has Dr. Manhattan and Rorschach on it. Speaking of Watchmen, I also got the Before Watchmen Comedian and Rorschach Omnibus, so I look forward to reading this. Hopefully it's good. I don't know if it will be. I've seen a lot of negative reviews, especially about the comedian part. I don't know if that's because people don't like the comedian. I do like the comedian, so hopefully I'll like it. I did see some reviews say it was boring. Hopefully that is not the case, but we shall see. But there's the back of the book. Like I said, this is a comic. It's not technically a DVD, but that's fine. This, however, is a DVD. I meant to show it before that, but that's fine. Whatever. We got Coonskin, which is a Ralph Bakshi movie. He's the guy who made the Fritz the Cat movie. Uh, the second Lord of the Rings cartoon. Not the first or the third, but he made the second one. He also did uh, Cool World, uh, Heavy Traffic, and a few others. Now, Coonskin's gone under a lot of different names. It was originally going to be called Coonskin No More. It's also been called Harlem Nights, and there's been a couple others, but this is the one I bought... So it has either the original title or Coonskin No More might have been the original title. But here it is, Ralph Bakshi's Coonskin. I look forward to watching it. I did like Fritz the Cat, so hopefully this will be good too. I hear this is a black exploitation movie, but with uh, anthropomorphic animals. All right, next up we have Miniskirt Police. Now I've streamed some of this on the channel already. This is a PS2 game that was made by Kowloon Kurosawa, the same guy who made Hong Kong 97. It's not a particularly good game, but it isn't. it's a game part of the Simple series, which as far as I can tell is a series that's literally just made to be like cheap bargain bin games. And speaking of Kowloon Kurosawa, we have one of his novels. I don't remember what this one is called. I've got another one on the way, actually, so I should be getting a second Kowloon Kurosawa novel at some point. It's all in Japanese, so obviously I'm not able to read it, but I thought it'd be cool to have for collectability's sake. And I have it upside down and backwards because I'm being stupid right now. So there you go, there's that. And to end off with, we have Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've had it for, like, maybe two weeks at most, so I've had it for a minute. Uh, but there it is, finally, AVGN 1 and 2 Deluxe. I will be streaming this at some point in the future. But there's the disc itself. It looks like it has a reversible case, so let's take a quick look at that. So here's what the front of the reverse case looks like. That's pretty cool. Very reminiscent of an old NES game case, as well as reminiscent of the AVGN DVD cases, so that's pretty cool. I like that.